What's going on guys? Pokemon Trainer George here, back with another video for you. And today, believe it or not, we're gonna be opening up some packs. So funny enough, I kept seeing online uh, people posting about finding these three card packs at Dollar Tree or similar dollar stores. They're come with three cards, they're a dollar. And people have been saying they've been getting some really crazy pulls from them. So I decided to try to hit my local Dollar Tree and see if I could find any. And unbeknownst to me, there was a Dollar Tree like 12 minutes away. I had never been there. I went in and ended up finding a bunch of packs. So I ended up grabbing 25 three card packs, which came out to be $25, 27 with tax. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to open them, see what's inside, <laughs> hopefully pull some fire um, and be one of those memes where it goes, hey, I paid a dollar and I got a $50 card. But we'll see, they're all Rebel Clash. It was actually all this Dollar Tree had. And I didn't buy them all out. They had tons left. But funny enough, when I got up to the front line to pay for them, uh, there was one lady at the cash register and she, there was like an error. So she had to call like a manager over or something to that effect. And they kept ringing up as 25 cents, which they had explained to me usually means, well, first I was like, well, then I'll just take them all. But they were like, no, we can't sell them at that price. Usually that means that they are to be taken off uh, the shelves in the market so they're not to be sold anymore but since I had these 25 already they decided to sell them to me for a dollar I didn't get them for 25 cents but immediately after they did this transaction the lady went over and took the two or three tiny display boxes of these away and took them off which was really upsetting because I guess this is my first and only time I'll ever get them at Dollar Tree but so we have 25 packs and not 25 times three so we got 75 cards in here they're all Rebel Clash, which if you've seen the other video on my channel where I bought all the Rebel Clash packs out of a GameStop, I've opened up a lot of Rebel Clash. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm excited to see if this happens to be for me like it is for everybody else and we get some really good cards in here. But yeah, without further ado, let's crack open some Pokemon packs. All right, so 25 packs. I'm going to scooch in a little bit. And pack number one. I actually I have no idea how these are set up either, if the rare is just right in the back or anything, which I assume, but let's let's find out. Come on. Nope. I've been doing so good at opening packs without scissors. Alright, let's just let's go through them. So we have a Toxel, a Zacian, and a Palpitote. Okay. So from the first pack, it looks like you get a uh, common, an uncommon, and a rare. With the uncommon being in the back, so I'll slide that one to the front, and okay. Now we're in business. All right. That's still, you know, that's still pretty cool, though, that... Well, assuming they each have a rare in them, maybe this was just the first pack. But assuming you pay a dollar to get a rare, I mean, you never really know what it's going to be. That's really not a bad deal. Let's, let's hope they all have... Um, Rare for them. All right, so this is the second pack. We'll put that to the front and see if this is the same. So we have a scoop up net, an applin, and a reverse seismitoad. Okay, so it looks like you do, granted it's only two packs, and I didn't do any research into this, um, you do get a rare per pack, and I guess it can be a reverse foil, the rare slot. So that's interesting. So we got a reverse seismitoad. All right. So there's 25 packs here, but I'm going to try to get through them pretty quickly because, well, there's three cards in them. All right, no more playing games. We're teeth in these. So hopefully I can get one full art from this whole thing. would be cool. If not, some some real rares. we got a chat up, a Galarian Daramaka, and for the rare we got... Okay, so this is this is the thing. So you are not guaranteed a rare then. Because this is the same chat out we just pulled, but a reverse foil. So assuming the third slot is either a regular rare or a reverse foil. Okay. Well, I guess that's good to know. We'll slide these down here. Let me just double check this camera is working. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving. that in the front. We got a Pokeball, a Vulpix. This is 
still the cutest Vulpix I've ever seen. And for the rare we got, or not the rare, we have a Reverse Electabuzz. Okay. I guess I probably should have looked into the ratios in these packs before buying them. I had kind of assumed when I bought them for a dollar that you'd be guaranteed a rare, but thinking about it now, that just it wouldn't be very... Uh... Oh, and there's energies too? Well, that's kind of upsetting. All right, we got an energy, an impidimp, and... Oh! So two commons and an energy. Okay. The plot thickens. So you are not guaranteed a reverse or a rare. So it looks like there's just three cards in there and they can be whatever they decided to put in them. All right, so then I don't have to shuffle them around anymore. We can just bust through the pack, show you guys what I got, and hopefully get something cool. So we got a coughing. A Inteleon V. Okay, I don't believe I have this guy. So at least, you know, at least you can get V cards. You can get some full arts. And a Durant. Okay, well, I'm not too mad about that then, as I was looking for at least one V or one of the rarer cards, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I actually don't think I pulled that Inteleon with an 80 packs of, or however many packs I bought of Rebel Clash from the GameStop, so oh, at least we got him here. And he has Snipe Shot, that's cool. Right, that's his move in Sword and Shield, Snipe Shot, or something similar to that. Alrighty, we got another pack. We have a Milsery. A Milo, okay. Not bad. I don't have a full art trainer Milo. That's cool. Well, I think already this is better than the, all the packs I bought from the GameStop. But okay, that's not bad. Now I'm almost regretting not buying more. Well, let's hold our horses, right? We won't get too far ahead of ourselves. Probably shouldn't be putting these random Pokemon packs in my mouth, but... Meditate, a rare Probopass, and a Yarnapod. Okay. Pack number 10. I'm not keeping count. We have a Surskit, a Stuffle, and a Galar Mine. So what I'm seeing is that it looks like the rare or the foil will be in the middle if there is one. I'm still not rearranging the packs. Oh, no teeth on that one. All right, we got a Phantom, a Bronzor, and a Fighting Energy. Okay. All right. That, that is kind of upsetting. They put energies in the dollar packs, but... They're a dollar. I am pretty happy to have pulled that Milo, though. I, can, I, I cannot lie. So that's that's a, that was a good start. We got a Nose Pass, a Wingle, and a Morgrim. Okay. I honestly thought I had seen packs like this online a little bit here and there before I knew they were like dollar store packs. I thought these were fakes. So I was like, what? So I was wondering Pokemon cards come with three cards in them. And no, they're just uh, a little bit more affordable, I suppose. Clefairy, a Voltorb, and a Metacham. No rares in that pack either. That my, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm just so happy I pulled the Milo. I, I really didn't expect to pull anything from these packs. And that texture, though. Okay, we got a Roly Coley, a Stunky, and a Tranquil. All right. No rares in that pack either. Well, these things just do not want to open. 
Is there a trick? Am I am I just completely not understanding how to open Pokemon packs? If you guys know how to open these easily, drop drop it in a drop it in the comments below. We got a Vulpix, a Milsery, and a Water Energy. A Water? Yeah. I don't know why I thought that was psychic. All right, we still got a decent amount of packs. We got a Vulpix again, a Milsery again, and a what? Nope, not a Water Energy this time. We got a Sonya. Okay. You know, if every Pokemon pack was three cards, these openings would be very short. We have a, looks like a pretty spunky Growlithe, a Roly Coley, and a Water Energy. Well, it looks like we exhausted all the rares since we haven't gotten one in a couple packs. <laughs> We have a Voltorb, a Growlithe, and a Nugget. If only this was worth $5,000 like it was in real life. In the in real life as it was in the games. All right. And we got a Impidimp, a Unpheasant, and a Curse Shovel. Okay, well, we got another rare. Um, not really... Too crazy of a one. I mean, I'm happy I pulled the Zashi on just because he's one of my favorite legendaries ever. Playing from red and blue, and he's top three? Top five for sure. Not sure about top three. I'm not even like a big dog person either. All right, there we go. Now we can rip him. Okay, got a Squovit. Side note. I am so upset I missed the Squovit shiny dens in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I knew they were there, and I just completely forgot about them. And now I don't have a shiny Squovit. We have an Applin, and that means we have no rare. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six packs left. We have a Timpo. We have a Trebish. We don't have a rare. Okay. So we got five packs. Yeah, so now I'm actually gonna check out a bunch of more Dollar Trees in the area to see if they have other packs. Cause I know they have like special Dollar Tree tins with um, Blissey or something. And I think you, I remember reading correctly online, I believe you can find an evo a three card evolutions pack in one maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. All right, we got a Shinx. We got a Reverse Phantom, okay. Got one more foil in here. And a Halucha. Our fourth to last pack. We got a Clefairy. We have a nice. Okay. So we got three. Well, two Vs, a full art Milo. Sanaconda. I don't believe I have one of those either, which is pretty cool. All right, um, I'm, I'm still pretty impressed with what we're pulling here for, for paying a dollar per pack. All right, this is our third to last pack. A Vulpix. A Reverse Charger Bug. Got a foil on that one, and a Heat More. Two packs left. Dawn of the final day. Helioptile, a rare foil Grimmsnarl, okay, I don't think I grabbed one of these guys either, I will take another rare, and a Bronzong, put that Grimmsnarl right there, last one. trying to open this one normally, but it looks like a toother. A milsery. Oh! <laughs> no way! No way! 
Wow, really? I I honestly cannot believe that. I <laughs> a milsery, a steel energy. Wow, and a Cinder Ace V Max, a secret. Wow, I. <laughs> Excuse my annoying laugh. I just can't. I I thought these were all jokes. These dollar store Dollar Tree packs, but these are arguably better pulls than I got out of um, eighty packs of regular boosters. I I I really cannot believe that. Wow. Wow. I paid a dollar. Wow. That's crazy. That is a beautiful card. I love Cinderace too. I um ordered the Shining Star pack from Japan. Hopefully I'll get the shiny one, but I cannot wow. Wow, this this has probably the been the mo the best pack opening I've had so far, and it's from a Dollar Tree. I <laughs> I'm floored. I can't I can't believe it. I'm gonna go back there right now and be like, Do you guys I know you took them down, but is there any way I can uh I can get the rest of those because uh, this is kind of working out. Wow, that's that's seriously crazy. I'm really glad I was recording this because I don't think anybody would believe me that I pulled these in dollar store packs. Wow. All right, let's just go through one more time. So we got Inteleon V, which is pretty cool. We have a Sanaconda V, which is pretty cool. We have a Full Art Milo is also pretty cool. I pulled the Nessa in the Vivid Voltage, so that makes two trainers, two gym leaders, and the Cinderace V. In the last pack, too? What are the chances? Oh, man. I, I can't get over that. I expected, honestly, to not get a single rare in that last pack, and, and, and I was thinking of it as I was opening, and I was like, all right, womp womp. Thanks for watching, guys, but Wow, this Cinderace V Max, that's crazy. All right, guys, well, <laughs> there you have it. I guess the Dollar Tree dollar packs really are something special. Granted, so one, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. So we got nine rares out of 25 packs. Arguably better rares than I've gotten previously, but that's. I guess that's neither here nor there. I, wow, I'm floored. Yeah, that's the video, guys. I'm not going to keep going on about these pulls. But yeah, if you have a Dollar Tree, you can find some dollar packs. I'd recommend grabbing them. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe and drop a like. My Instagram and Twitter are in the bio below. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just floored. I'm floored. All right. Thanks, guys. And until next time, Pokemon's, Pokemon Trader George will be at the dollar store.